Bud Dupree, welcome to the Tennessee Titans. We're excited to have you back in the South. You grew up in Georgia, you played at Kentucky, now here you are in Tennessee. How does it feel to be back? Man, you know, it feels great to be back in the South. It seems like a pipeline I had here, you know, high school ball, college ball, now back in the Titans. So man, it's, uh, it's always been a dream for me to play for the Titans, actually. Even though growing up, my favorite team would know was the Falcons just being in Georgia, man. But Tennessee, man, has always been my not my my favorite my favorite team. Other than that, man, you know, Eddie George, man, the late McNair, man, a lot of those the, the OG guys. It's a blessing to be able to just play for play for this organization. Now, what is it about this Titans defense right now that really appeals to you? You know, the DBs, man, the DBs are, are tremendous. You know, they're doing a great job, man. You know, the inside linebackers is just, I can go on and on about the defense, man, that, that they're making plays, you know. Up front, the big guys, they have it three techniques and stuff, too. Also, Landry, he does a great job, too, man. There's a lot of moving pieces on this defense, and, uh, you know, they're coming together tremendously, as we've seen over the last couple of years. Seeing the growth of this organization and seeing the, in the direction they're going, I mean, you couldn't be more excited for the program. One of your future teammates is Jeffrey Simmons, someone that you've worked out with a little bit. Knowing his style of play, knowing your own style of play, how do you feel like you guys are going to fit together on the football field? Yeah, definitely. I can't wait to get clear so we can go back and start back grinding the all season together along with the other guys, man, so we can really get a feel. Now that we know we're on the same team, we can really work together despite of just uh, I'm working at the same place. We're working out. Let's get some work in. Nah, it's a bigger goal now. We're in the all season together as a whole. You know, that's the fun part about it, being able to be in, the, in those type of environments with your teammates, you know, putting the pressure on each other, man, let's get better, let's do this, let's, let's do this extra, man, let's make sure we're, let's make sure we're connecting the dots as a unit, then yeah, it'll all be fun. Now, you mentioned getting cleared. Your 2020 season was cut a little short due to injury, but in the 11 games that you played, you were able to get eight sacks. That's a lot of sacks for 11 games. Tell me the uh, Bud Dupree key to getting a sack. Man, you know, I'm a speed rush guy, man. I think a lot of times people on the speed, you know, uh, when you overset speed, you'll be able to turn it into power. And I'm a big guy, so I like to do power moves as well. And, you know, when it's crunch time, you got to be able to put your pin your ears back and be able to get to the quarterback, man. It doesn't matter how you get to the quarterback and which way, just make sure you get there. You've had a career that's had some hills and valleys. You're not a guy who is unfamiliar with the spotlight. You were a first round draft pick and then kind of experienced some rocky patches early, but then really rose and kind of came into your own with the Steelers. What did you learn in your time in Pittsburgh that you're going to bring to the Tennessee Titans? Overcoming adversity. Like you said, I was a first round pick, came into the league, pretty strong rookie campaign. Second year, missed like 10, 11 games due to a sports hernia. I only got a chance to really play like the last couple of games and in the playoffs, third year came back again, you know, changed from the left side to the right side and was able to start making an adjustment on that side of the ball as well. So, you know, man, just bring it to the team, man, you know, overcoming adversity, just, you know, and just keep being able to grind it in, grind it out, and then just get to where I'm at now. What about Mike Vrabel's style as a coach, as a former player, as a former Steeler? What appeals to you? What appeals to me is how Mike Vrabel goes to people pro days and actually blocks the D lineman. That's all you need to know about a coach like him, man. You know, he's all in. If he's really putting his hand in the dirt, trying to block a D lineman as an offensive lineman, you know, when he's actually the one doing the drills and not just pity patting, where he's really trying to put his hands on you and move you and seeking you moving back. So when you see a guy do stuff like that, man, you know, that's all you need to see. You know, it's really nothing else to talk about. You go by Bud. Your real name is Alvin. Who's allowed to call you Alvin? Nobody called me Alvin since I probably was born. I don't even remember one person like ever calling me Alvin the whole time. Even when I was school growing up, the first day I remember Bud, that's what it was. Bud growing up, Bud, 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 Bud. And uh, it just stuck with me the whole time. When I was getting recruited by college coaches, they'll come to the school, like we're looking for Alvin. They'd be like, man, I don't know who that is, but I know who Bud is. Well, Bud, we are so excited to have you in Tennessee. Welcome to the Titans. Man, thank y'all. Appreciate it.